Hey guys, welcome back to Wilder Hope Adventures. This doesn't look particularly exciting, but we are prepping, and by prepping I say just chilling for a while. Um, in the Lake District, we're prepping to go up to Easdale Tarn for a wild camp tonight. We probably won't leave until about six o'clock, so it's not a massive hike up there, but currently we're sitting in this woodland, um, in I think it's Le Crig Hotel, and I've got to pay 15 pounds for overnight parking, but there's nowhere else to park. I mean, there is if I wanted to do more miles, but Cody just is probably not going to manage it in the time that we have. But we get to sit here for three hours and enjoy a beer before we head up, and I think that's that says something right there. Time to get all fueled up. We are eating down here. It saves me carrying it up, to be fair. Um, and just for one night, there's no point in hauling stuff up for cooking, it's just eat sandwich and yeah, this is more about just getting up there and spending time with the dogs than anything else. <sighs> well, this is us, we're heading out. It's not quite six o'clock yet, so we're heading out a little bit early, but feeling pretty good about things and it's such a beautiful evening. I am so glad this is kind of our last night in the Lake District. What a perfect way to end the trip here. It feels so strange to be back on the same trail after four years and I think off to the right is where we came down from Helm Crag which we're not doing but if you get the chance to do that horseshoe it is absolutely stunning it's not difficult except for the boggy parts um, but I really enjoyed that hike whoo gosh this is beautiful I can't believe it's six o'clock and we're warmer now than we were two hours ago Well, we're just getting our first look at Sour Milk Gill, which is the um, gill that, the, that flows out of Eastdale Tarn. Looks absolutely fabulous. Oh, this is just like the perfect evening. I cannot emphasize that. I know I keep saying that, but I cannot emphasize that enough. Because sometimes that's all it takes to make you feel good about a situation that you're in. And knowing that it's going to be an awesome night to be up there. I'm just feeling really good about this. It's like, it's crazy. Now I don't think this is a yew tree, it might be, just because of the girth. And look at the size of this thing. You can just see from da 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 da. It is massive. That thing predates, I almost want to say that thing predates Christianity, but who actually knows what stories that tree would have to tell. This is definitely a bit rockier than I anticipated, but it's not the kind of rocky that Cody can't handle. He's, he's, it's, it's enough for him to step up on, basically. So he's managing it very, very well. Um, but man, this is, I think it's stunning so far. Absolutely amazing. Oh, well, that's one way to build a wall. I think the hotel we stopped at earlier actually had the rocks built into the building, so. Use what you got. Well, 
second video I filmed, was way out there, we had fighter jets flying overhead. I was in uh, with a very terrible old camera at that point, but I think we got Gibson's Knot and Calf Crag up here, Helm Crags behind us. Um, if we continued straight up this, it would take up, take us all the way up the, the, uh, the valley, but we're gonna cut left here shortly to go over to the town um, and then find a place to camp. So we just crossed the creek and are looking for a left hand turn to take us up to Eastdale Town. Um, but man, this, is, this has been the best trail we've done this trip. Um, the other two were beautiful. The first one was tough. It was brutal. I picked the wrong one to do with Cody. And then the second one, yeah, it was, it was lovely. It was just a bit um, of the same the whole way through. But this is just, I don't know, it just feels different for some reason. Looks like they're about to get some uh, trail work in up here though. They've got some bunch of rocks up here that they're about to install, which you can tell right here. Things are getting worn away. This damage is exactly why they're putting those rocks in. Well, path just gets wider and wider and wider because it gets so wet and people go around it. Seeing that doesn't surprise me a whole lot. Eastdale Tarn is probably one of the easiest tarns to get to, the shortest tarn, shortest hike to get to a decent tarn. So the trails are just getting worn out up here. So it looks like they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Probably a good 30 bags of rocks up here. I'm, sure, I'm assuming all delivered by helicopter to uh, fix this trail. That is so much work. Cody, he thought the mud, this mud, was solid, and now he's all muddy. Sometimes it can be so hard to stop him going the wrong way, especially when he can't hear. He freaks out when you grab his collar, even though he's never been, you know, hurt or anything like that. But oh my gosh, Cody, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find him a, a place to wash off here real quick. I think. Well, at least there was a creek close by. That was fun. Nothing but mud. He wasn't happy about that, and neither was I. That was... He's still not completely clean, but... It's as good as he's gonna get. We'll give him five minutes to roll in the grass before we're gonna head, head up. All right, Cody, come on. Well, we almost dived into the mud again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, well, with a mostly clean and slightly damp dog, we are doing the final ascent to the reservoir. Not, not the reservoir, the town. But I'm having to really keep an eye out on where we're going because there's so many muddy spots through here. So I'm really having to guide Cody through this because he doesn't really like doing stepping stones at all. Not gonna lie, it's... I want the one thing I always try to be on this channel is truthful and honest and it does sometimes get a bit hard not to get mad at him um, for not paying attention and not looking and not thinking and I know he has vestibular disease I know he has degenerative myelopathy but those don't affect his brain and his thinking powers and just been like rational judgment where he used to have that and that seems to have gone away um, so I'm starting to wonder if he's got some kind of 
canine dementia on top of everything else. But yeah, it can be a struggle. I'm definitely not gonna lie, I love him to death. Always will. Cody, no, nope. wrong way. See, he's heading down to a puddle right now thinking, oh my, that actually might be the easiest way. And I think that's what he thinks. It's like, that looks simple. There's no rocks that way. But in reality, it's actually a lot more tough to go that way for him and me than the way I pick. And I usually hope he just tries to follow either me or his sister. So not only am I wowed by the scenery, but I'm wowed by these clouds. I don't know if you can quite see them in the background there, but pretty stunning and unique, that's for sure. Well, we are done climbing. We are at the gap where stock or sour milk gill flows out of East Deltorn. Last a few steps before we drop down into the torrent itself. I'm just gonna wait for Cody to manage his uh, steps up. I'm sure somebody's gonna come along and say how cruel I am to make my dog do this, you know? And in some ways, yeah, it might be a bit harsh, people watching this, but in reality, I know he would be more miserable if I didn't bring him. He loves the outdoors, he loves the adventure, he wants to go. So if I don't bring him, if I don't take him with me, it's just, it's, it's not him. And yeah, he struggles a little bit, but once he's out here, he's like, absolutely loves this so we've got a little bit of a circuit around here to find the uh find that spot over there that's like we're gonna go check out <sighs> wind's a bit tough up here so i believe oh yeah yeah this is what happens when i don't pay attention to the ground found a few flat spots unfortunately the bad thing about flat spots is that they tend to be quite boggy um, all of this through here is quite wet and yes I have a DCF tent which means no water through the floor but at the same time it's like yeah, but why do I want that much moisture around okay. oh good look Cody he's doing so well and then I say I get mad at him I, it's, it's hard I want I don't want to be mad at him but sometimes I'm just like oh it's, it's, it's that frustration oh that's a bit wet uh that frustration and it's not his fault it really isn't his fault but anybody who has dogs that get old he'll understand that sometimes it can be so tough dealing with ow oh, with me and age issues and i'm dealing with both a painful ankle and a painful hit right now i'm both on the same side so oh goodness i need to be a bit more careful well, I think this is about as level as we're gonna get. We've got a beautiful view over the water, beautiful view over that way, the torrent, and we are completely by ourselves. Well, guys, it was a bit of a struggle getting up here. Cody is actually clean. He went down to the lake, he went into water. It's all cleaned off. Hopefully this breeze will dry him off before we have to go to bed. But wow, guys, wow. What an incredible place this is. We were just finishing putting everything in the tent. Oh, I need to put some warmer clothes on because I'm starting to get a bit chilled. But otherwise, we're just going to chill here and enjoy this absolutely incredible scenery. Oh my God.
was. I don't even know what to say right now. This is... Our only neighbours are sheep. I could do without the breeze, but it's alright. Cody just needs to dry out a little bit before we put his coat on. But man, this couldn't really be much more perfect than this. I got Kai. Say hi to the camera, Kai. No, she's more interested in looking at me. Cow kisses. No, thank you. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Kai kiss. Kisses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gotta love them. A few Kai kisses, right? Oh, This is pathetic, Kai. This is really pathetic. Doggy loves. Doggy loves. So that's camp. I'm staying out of the wind. I'm enjoying being out of the wind. I'm also enjoying this kind of company because she's she's a mama's girl, and that's for darn sure. This one is the one I don't get to go to the bathroom without. She's got to check that if I'm going to the bathroom that I'm okay. Now this is something I never do on a backpacking trip, but I am unfortunately out of my sleep medication and the only way I sleep, sadly, and I hate to admit this, is with a little bit of alcohol in my system. Enjoy the evening. So cheers to you guys. I'll see you guys. morning guys it's um, not even six o'clock yet but the sun's up just come over the horizon so we're gonna get up and get dressed well actually i'm already dressed because i sleep in the same clothes um back away and uh hike back to the car which we're doing a slightly different route back which is which causes a bit of a, a loop hike Wow guys, this is incredible. Last time I had a, a morning like this or a night like this, I was in Wales and it was about this time last year, actually it was April and it was a very cold night, poor Cody froze to death almost, but this lake is just dead calm. There's lots of fish biting out there, so I'm like, oh, next time bring my fly rod. Oh, what a spot. That's us, wow. What a spot. I think we have to remember this for future reference. That's a really good spot, but no trace left. We even picked up a bit of trash on our way out. Kind of glad this is our last one though, because I tell you, my, uh, my ankle and my hip aren't feeling great. So good to be uh, heading back. Oh, it looks a bit boggy down there. You can always tell by the type of grass that's growing. If it's that super green stuff, you're fine. If it's the ones that sort of looks a little bit brownish, that's very much like, well, I call it bog grass, but kind of gives you an idea of what you're walking on. Um, but no matter what, there are so many amazing places to camp around here.
we got the waterfall just below us. It doesn't look like we're going to get a great view of it because of this big tree in the way, but that's okay. So pretty. Maybe we'll get a better view of it down here. Bit of a better view down here, that's for sure. Not much of a waterfall right now because we haven't had much rain lately. But this whole area is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that. Wow. Ah, there's actually several waterfalls here. So this one we got a better view of. Let's just get, oh, this is pretty, 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 pretty. Wow. Oh guys, I just saw there's a fox down here. Behind the tree, I wonder if we can... So I'm crossing the creek, there he goes, out the top. Unusual to see him out in the daytime. He's very aware that we're here, there he goes. He's off. Decided we're too much of a threat up the mountain. He keeps stopping and look back at us. Kai's aware he's there, of course. What a treat that was. I mean, there's one thing I see foxes, you know, in the city, but you very rarely see them out here in the, the remote areas. They've very much become accustomed to living around people. And They've definitely done a lot of work on this path. Um, still a few things of rocks back there, but they've done a lot of work through here to keep this solid. This whole area is quite boggy. Apparently, even though they um, always think they're quite mean birds because they take over another's nest, but apparently they're um, kind of endangered or, or not as common as they should be and as what they once were, which is a shame, so it's always quite nice to hear one. Well, we're back down in the valley, almost back to the car. So at this point, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed our wild cab. I um, hope you guys stick around and watch some more videos. But as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your mental health. And thanks for watching.